Hi! How are you guys doing? I am going to be making some pouring medium for my upcoming classes, so I thought I would show you how I do it. I'm going to put my gloves on first. There are a couple recipes that I showed you in the book and in this course. One of them uses Floetrol and water, and this other one uses Floetrol, Elmer's glue all, and bottled water. This is my favorite recipe, and this is the one I use. It's my go-to recipe. So I like to make it in bulk, and I use it in my classes also. So to start, um, we need to figure out what one part means. So I have a 32 ounce mixing cup, and I've decided one part means four ounces if you can see on this without a glare. <laughs> so, um, three parts of Floetrol, one, two, three, would be 12 ounces. So I put a line on my cup and marked it Floetrol. Then, two parts of Elmer's glue all, I'll go up two. One, two. Put a line right here, I'm up to 20 ounces. And then one ounce of water, put a line up there. So now, I reuse this, just wash it out when you're done, and it makes an easy measuring tool so I can bulk make my pouring medium. Now, if you're just doing this for just a, little, a small project, you need to figure out what your one part means and then use the appropriate measuring cup and go like that. So, let's get started. We're gonna start adding our flow trawl. Now this is the latex-based Floetrol. I get it at Home Depot. It's available on Amazon, but also make sure it's latex, not oil-based. Now one of the things about Floetrol, you gotta mix it up, make sure it's mixed, and you need to strain it. So I just got this. I think I just got it at a, a dollar store. I'm gonna set it right on here. Floetrol will have strings in it, and that's just natural. If you don't strain it, you're gonna get the strings in your art. So I'm gonna strain it until I get to that line. You can also use, if you have some pantyhose, anything mesh to put on this um, top right here. Put the mesh right on here tie it and you can pour and strain it that way. This is actually pretty good. I don't see a lot of strings in it. So yay. Set this aside. And then, now that I've got up to my flow trawl line, we're gonna fill up to the glue line. And I like to use Elmer's Glue All. You can try Elmer's Glue, but Glue All seems to work better for me. It's a multi-purpose and seems to be a little stronger. So, and the lid likes to stick once you use it because it is glue. There it goes. <laughs> See? <laughs> so now, Fill up to the glue line. And there we go. I'm gonna clean that lid up. And then one part bottled water. You can try using tap water, but I, I like bottled, bottled water or filtered water so it doesn't get that extra calcium buildup that water usually has from the tap. Filling that up to the water line. Pretty easy so far, huh? Now, you could take a mixer and mix it up. You could take a stick, this is a jumbo stir stick, and mix it up. And that's what I used to do when I first got started. But it's very time consuming, consuming and your arms do get a workout. So, I found a hand mixer. <coughs> and it works beautifully, it's plug-in and it's made for making smoothies and it's uh there's a link in the description below just put it in and start mixing <laughs>
There we go. Now, if you can see, let me get this stuff out of the way. There are tons and tons of air bubbles. Since I'm using this for my class next week, I'm going to pour it into my containers and the air bubbles are going to dissipate. They're going to be gone. If you're going to use this, um, the air bubbles will help create cells. If you use it right away, it's your choice. Or just let it sit about 24 hours in an airtight container and the air bubbles will be gone. So to get it in my container, I rate pouring medium on my containers in my class, just to clarify, make sure everybody knows. I have a collapsible funnel. You can use any funnel. And just pour it in. And there we go. And I love this recipe. I have I use it for just about all the basic techniques. If I need it to be a little thinner, just add a little bit of water. And you can do that as you go with each technique. And you can just use this as just a good standby pouring medium to get started and alter from there. So put the cap on. And then I'm ready to go. So I hope this little tutorial has helped you. And if you have any questions, definitely give me a call. And I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.